But a Hollywood smile Ow Strip her booty in a rack like wow Green like Berkeley Better at Coachella I went to see Chica She went to CC trip Perfect I took a seat on the ice cold dawn She had to be a ice blue bong Whatever She said she won I'm gonna go in first with the elf primer because we need it to grip it is so hot outside y'all like it's so hot i feel like my lighting is just the camera setting on here is just washing me out i'm gonna go in with this scarlet tilbury Flawless filter. Um, actually, do I have a color with that today? I'm like, I don't even know if this is my color of this. Skin feels good. Uh, skin tint. Yikes, y'all. Might be a little dark. Um, ooh. I think it's actually like perfect. I really should have just did what I normally do on camera because like I need to just give y'all what I normally do, but honestly I am. It's just this part that I'm doing a little different. I never like to put too much on my forehead Plus I need to go and get my um, fillers redone, refilled, and don't want creases. Wow, this is actually a perfect match for me right now. This is in the shade Tan, 05 Neutral, and it has SPF in it. Um, yeah. Wow. This actually looks so good on my skin, y'all. Like, it gave me coverage, but like, it's like skin still. We love that. I just wish my lighting, what if I like turn some of my like ring lights down? It's still like bright, right? Like, we don't want it too dark. Whatever. We're going to keep it like this. The lighting's still fine. I can still see myself. Um, okay, hold on. I got a text message. <laughs> hold on. I love this song. I hope you guys can't hear it in the background. But I want a little bit of music. I'm going to put a little music over here because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. But next, we're going to go in with the Tarte uh, Concealer and Tan Sand. And I feel like this is not highlighting at all. But... It really helps with my purpleness and covering up any blemishes, like it's full coverage. This is definitely one of my OG favorite concealers. I've been using this for years since it first came out. Um, I don't really promote heart because of the whole, you know, with them, but if I like a product, I like a product um, and I wanna show y'all exactly what I use. So yeah, there's that. Um, I've been, lately I had been using brushes only to blend out my concealer, but lately I've kind of been mixing it together with a brush and then a beauty sponge. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna, we're gonna do today. Um, we'll go ahead and just blend it in with the brush. This is the Makeup by our Ariel and Morphe brush in 814. I literally love all of the brushes in this collection, in this set. Uh, so anyways, what I wanted to kind of talk about, just some random things. Um, one of them I really wanted to talk about that I feel like I've been struggling with is when it comes to my type of men that I have dated in the past and then trying to kind of change up and then trying to change up the type of men that I date now. 
and it's actually been a struggle if i must say and i know that might sound like how but when you're so used to a certain type of male a certain type of man a certain type of way he is and how you know the men are that you have dated in the past i for me i struggle to date a different type and i really feel like that is why dating hasn't worked out the best for me because for one i'm super picky but also certain men that i have dealt with i know and have known that um i've known that they aren't they aren't the type of man that i don't know okay so i, I if i'm being honest i will say that i know some of them that I have dated aren't the type of man that um, is going to really settle down and give me what I want when it comes to marriage, children, dating just me, being with just me. Um, but sometimes I kind of like, okay, you know, sometimes certain men change because women can change for certain men. And not saying that's what I expect, but I kind of go into any relationship, any type of guy I'm talking to seriously, as if we're gonna make it official and make it serious, you know? Because we do make it to where, you know, it's pretty serious, whatnot, but it's serious on the behalf of not really getting to boyfriend and girlfriend because I start to, I'm just like, mm, you know, yeah, you're giving me certain things here and there, but what I really want, you're not giving me. And a lot of men also, I mean, we're not, we're not, we're not slow here. We're not, we're not blind. We're not any of that. And I don't date broke men. I don't. And I don't think anything is wrong with that. Um, I'm not out here looking for men like with money. I just the type of people around, the type of um, men that reach out to me or, you know, want to talk to me, type of environment I'm around. You know, majority of the men do have money and are financially great, I must say. And, you know, relationships are definitely more than just money, but I do want to be with someone who has financial freedom to pretty much do as they please. And I feel like that is okay. And th that's my type. And that's one thing I definitely am not really going to change for when it comes to my type. But in a sense, maybe, you know? Um, so with that being said, you know, when it comes to dating men with money nowadays, it can be I'm um, going in with this Dior backstage concealer in the shade 6W for some warming up cream contouring. I am, a lot of men that have money, it comes with some, some, not all, because not all are like this, you know, come with a lot of things because they have all this money, they can do what they want, talk to whoever they want. There's so many beautiful women in the world. And they have the financial freedom to kind of, yeah. Yeah. Um, also, I do wanna say, cause I don't want people to come off, come at me as if like, you know, I only date men for money and I do strange things for money because um, let me tell you something. One thing about me, don't do nothing strange for no money. And one thing I will say about me that just because a man buys me something, wires me thousands of dollars, does not mean I had sexual intercourse with them, does not mean I did anything weird, does not mean that whatever else people may think. Um, what I will say is that if you've never had the experience or been in my shoes or had the opportunities to be around these certain high caliber type of men, you would know 
that not all girls are doing sexual activities, strange things, whatever you want to call it, for money. Some men actually, which they are called tricks, some men genuinely just have so much money and buy women things for no reason. For absolutely no reason. You guys remember when I had gotten, got flown out on the private jet by myself, it was just for me, got there to a new AP watch, other jewelry, bags, Chanel bags, I had no sexual intercourse with that man. Did not have sexual intercourse with that man. And I just want people to know that it's not always, that's just one, one example I can give that I feel like I've never talked about, but I did put that on social media, those pictures and that moment. And there are other things have been given to me since I've literally been wired thousands of dollars, you guys. I've been given, I've been handed money, not um, candle wax on my finger, I've been handed thousands of dollars in cash just because. Never had sex with the man. Now, later on down the road, maybe I did, but not with all of them, okay? And I don't get too much into my business, but you know, when you are a type of woman around type of men, I am a beautiful woman, I must say. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I can eat a little bit more. I need to brighten up here. It's giving kind of like the same colors. I will just say, you know, until you're in somebody's shoes, don't judge and don't always think just because a pretty girl or any girl is getting certain luxury things going on these trips, whatever the case is, they are giving up their goods. Cause that is not always the case. And also it's a part of dating. Like I said, men are tricks. Men have so much money. A Chanel bag, ooh, my nose is running. A Chanel bag, jewelry, whatever you, whatever, is literally nothing to these men. Literally nothing. So, with that being said, I've had a lot of that, okay? I have had a lot of luxury gifts, luxury trips, luxury a lot of just yeah that and it's all great and all I have all these bags these shoes this jewelry but I'm so single and I know it's because of the type of men that I'm attracted to the type my type and thinking and like, just like, oh, one of them, like my type is actually going, I'm gonna find someone who does all the things that I like, cause I like to be spoiled. I like gifts. I love, I love be, being handed money for no reason. I love that. But there's always pros and cons to the things that are so great in certain things in life. Not everything is gonna be perfect. Don't get me wrong. I can have both. Am I? I'm not sure. Um, but I feel like I tend to go to, I tend to date the bad boys, the men who are known to just not settle down, you know? And I think whenever I do try to date men who are not like that, it's hard for me because I find certain things in them just kind of, I guess, corny, if that makes sense. Or they just don't move a certain way. And I'm just like, ugh, kind of turned off, if that makes sense. And I feel like I need to like brighten, brighten my, my makeup a little bit more. I feel like because that skin tint was such my color, maybe I just need to like get a little concealer down here. Yeah, cause I'm like, I feel like I'm giving the same color all over here. I'm not feeling that. Definitely need more of concealer. So, cause I wanna brighten it up a little bit. I just find, I feel like they can be kind of corny, if that makes sense, or 
they just don't live, I guess. They just are totally opposites. And I have talked to men and tried to talk to men who are just pretty much the polar opposite of what I'm used to. Like the good guys, I should say. So I used, I'm used to the bad, bad boys, bad guys, and now I'm trying to get into the good guys, which is more husband material. And I know that's what I want. I have met men that actually make good money can still spoil me in ways that I want material wise, but they give me more than just material things. Like they actually wanna get to know me. They actually are taking the time to take me out on dates. They're actually doing things a normal relationship is doing when building a relationship with a woman or with a male. And it's something about me just either I'm not ready Either I'm not ready for that type of commitment because I'm like, am I ready for that or am I still trying to have fun and date? You know what I mean? And it's like, I feel like that's the stage I'm at right now. Like, yes, I want to be a mother. Yes, I want to be a wife. I feel like I've expressed that so much on my channel, but I feel like my makeup is turning out terrible right now, y'all. I'm gonna do some blush. Some blush. Um, let me see. This is not the actual makeup tutorial that I really wanted to do. I feel like I'm like all over the place. This is like first time sitting down doing like an actual talking video while trying to multitask and I'm terrible. So bad. I'm not feeling this makeup to be honest, but we're gonna make it work. So yeah, um, I'm just in the phase of trying to figure out if I'm ready for that or if I'm just not used to it. Like maybe I'm just not used to a man treating me how I'm supposed to be treated. Not saying these men that I've dated haven't treated me good. I'm gonna go in with this Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder to set under my eyes first. Bitch, let's go on a little bit with this Born This Way in the shade Warm Beige. Oh no, it's kind of dark. I'm going with this infallible L'Oreal concealer in the shade. Girl, 365 cashew. Okay, it's a little brighter. I'm like, I need something. A little brighter under here. It's only like this, I'm only like this because I'm on camera right now looking at myself, just critiquing everything. Like, was not trying to have this much makeup on. This isn't my normal sit down camera filming, filming camera. So now I can go in with the pressed powder. All right, now I can go in with my powder. Do I really use, I'm really switching it up today. Do I wanna use this one? Or do I wanna go in with my banana one? What is this brand again? One size and translucent because I feel like I just need some brightness. You know? Sorry y'all, I stopped talking. I gotta focus because I feel like I'm not feeling this makeup. Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet powder in the shade 2Y30. I'm gonna go in with this brush from Milani called the Powder Bronzer Brush. And this is the shade. And we're just gonna set the face with this. Now that's done. I need to go in with some bronzer. And I'm going in with bronzer from Bake Beauty Bakery in the shade 
I don't give up. So yeah, I am just really trying to venture out my type of man that I type of men that I'm dating and I know there are great guys that have tried to talk to me and I just haven't really given them much of me because it's new for me and I'm like why is it so hard for me but I also just know I'm not used to it and I might sound crazy might think I'm dumb it's like sis just go for it but it's like I'm genuinely not used to a certain man. Maybe I'm just not used to being treated how I should be treated. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I'm just not used to that. You know? I don't know, but... Okay, I feel like... We're coming together, but it needs something. Want, I, I really feel like I am at the point in my life where I do want to find my partner to be able to build so, you know, we can grow, get to know each other the right ways to be able to start a family because I don't want to rush into things either. Like, I really want to know my partner. Like, I really, really want to know my partner. So, I'm going with two blushes. This MAC blush in the shade Peaches and the Sephora blush in the shade uh, Date Night. Yeah, I'm just like really, really just kind of in a what do I really, really want right now? And that's kind of like with everything in life right now, you know? It's really kind of like that. But also, I think... For one, dating in Atlanta is so trash, y'all. It is so bad. Like, it's so bad. Oh my God. Highly, zero out of 10, do not recommend. <laughs> do not recommend, girl. But, I just, ugh. I don't know what I want. I don't know, and like, I really hate it because like, I do wanna settle down. I really, 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 really do. I just really need to like sit and think about like what I really, really want, which I do. And I know, and it's crazy because like I know what I really, really want. Like I genuinely know. I know how I see my future. Like I know I see myself with a good man who treats me so good. And because I've been so single, like I haven't really been in a fully committed, really, I've been in a situation, but I haven't been in a fully committed relationship since my ex when I first moved to Atlanta. And now that I, that's a whole nother story because when I look back at that, yeah, you guys saw the glitz and glams, the spoiledness, the soft life. But there was a lot of things behind the scenes about that. Yeah. Uh, and I don't even want a relationship like that. Like honestly, oh yeah, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, when I was dating that person, you guys all know, pretty much have known I was dating someone who didn't have a real job and I don't want to date a man <clears throat> who can't get a job a real job no shade nothing but I'm over that phase and like I really want longevity and you know I, I honestly just don't see that for, for myself anymore and back then I'm just like this is what is this is cool like because I'm not gonna lie like not even, I'm not even gonna say it's cool that's kind of all I knew. Like I was dating those type of men in high school. They were doing stuff like that. I've just had such a rough time with men. <laughs> and so, you know, I, by the way, this is one of the best eyebrow gels ever. And besides that next one I told you about before, but that one's more like really when I want to set them, set them stuck. These is just, it's gonna get them right, but set and not flaky. So yeah, I just don't see that stuff for myself no more. Now that I've gotten older, I'm just like, I want longevity, I want safeness. I don't want, if you know what I mean, yeah. So those type of men have been cut out. Industry type of men, 
it's, it's tough y'all because I'm kind of in the industry if that makes sense like I'm not really but I have such easy access everybody just has access to everybody like I could literally DM Barack Obama right now if I wanted to okay <laughs> like not saying like on some like dating him type I'm just saying like that type of access you can literally social media is just like you can literally have access to anybody you just don't know if they're gonna see your message or if they're gonna respond so yeah I think that I'm just at that point in my life where I just don't know what I really want and I'm trying to figure out if I really want to leave the certain lifestyle I have now in the past you know like I have really cut out a lot of dating like definitely have a lot so I haven't been doing certain things like I used to when it comes to like there's just like I've been invited on so many trips that aren't bad like I also want y'all to stop thinking that um uh all the trips that I get invited on are some like I just want to know honestly why y'all think I be doing crazy things for money but the things y'all say about me I'm just like only if y'all know I do not even have to open up my legs I'm literally soft like living for real okay now I'm friends with a lot of people like I had told y'all earlier, I'm friends with all different types of people. And just because they do certain things, live a certain lifestyle, does not mean Brianna is doing that. I just want y'all to know that. I'm myself and I am not a follower. And like I said, I am friends with all different types of people. And how come y'all don't say when I'm around people that don't do certain things in the negative light that I do things like them? How come it's always I am doing what everyone's doing in the negative light? You know, like just because people, whatever people do on there, whatever they do that I'm friends with don't got nothing to do with me. And I'm not judging whatever they have going on, whatever they do, however they get their money, however, I don't judge. Like I'm literally not a judgmental person. Like. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> I wish people would stop like living like that just because you, like I get it, it might be like a bad look, but at the end of the day, if you're not doing that, so what? Those type of people may get their money in a certain type of way, but honestly can be like great people, have great hearts and give great advice, but that's just the way life chose them to get their money. Or how they chose to you know I just feel like I really get bashed and it's like y'all really don't know me and the fact the internet is such a fake place the internet is such a fake place and it's just so bad that you know people people make up these rumors about people that they don't know never have hung around with never had a real conversation with sorry I'm trying to pull my oh booty marks behind make up stories online and then people run with it and believe it and it's like did you get the confirmation from the person you're actually talking about where's the proof but y'all believe it and y'all like yeah this is what happened sometimes i'm like do y'all not feel crazy for writing this whole scenario and you're 1000 percent more wrong like you're so off like you don't feel weird you don't feel strange you don't feel like maybe i should get a life because how would you feel if somebody made up something about you and it's not real and it's in the negative light you know it's just weird to me it's very weird like so weird i'm just like what do y'all get out of it what do y'all get out of it and then what kills me is Y'all say these negative things about me as if you guys just ugh, are so against everything I do, but you still watch me. Girl, I just be so confused. I am literally blossoming, growing, going through everyday life like you are. And I'm not perfect. 
and I'm learning through my mistakes, through my life challenges, through things that have not always been the best in life. But guess what? I am truly blessed. I am truly grateful. I get to wake up every day in a peaceful home that is so comforting to me. I get to wake up. I have a car. I have money in my bank account. Literally can do whatever I want. And I'm just like grateful, beyond grateful. And I'm grateful to be here, to wake up every day healthy. And I'm happy to be able to experience the things that I get to experience because a lot of people don't get to experience a lot of things that I've experienced. And I'm saying them in the most humblest way. Um, I got to experience a lot of things young. Like I said, I'm only 26 and I've experienced so much since. I've like started this career of mine. Um, you know, I was working full-time jobs up until I was 21, 22, and then I was able to save money and start YouTube full-time and still be able to do it now. And um, yeah, and just kind of wanted to say that. Like, I'm so grateful, thankful, and I wish that everybody else knew how to live their life for them not worry about what other people have to say. Like I said, I'm not coming up here to talk about what people say about me because I care. Because when I tell you I don't, I don't. I just really, I'm just like, what is wrong with y'all? <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? There's some weirdos out here and I'm just like, y'all really have to be miserable and it's like, I just don't get it. I don't, I just don't get it. I don't get it, you know? I just don't get it. But anywho, let me finish this and then we'll come back at the end when I'm like fully dressed. I don't know what I'm wearing and I need to hurry up. It's already 4.45 and I have to be there. 5.30, 5.45, which I'm doing good, girl. Cause normally I only got an hour to be ready. Girl, I got an hour until I get there and I'm, my makeup is done. We gonna put a little highlighter on probably, maybe. I don't know, but I'm come back, fix my hair. It's probably gonna be just like this because my hair is done, girl. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm going in with this lipstick. Well, let me finish my lips because I went in with this brown shade from NYX. I just brush my teeth. And then I'm going in with this MAC lipstick, my favorite shade. I do not know how to pronounce this well. It's not showing me. Mm, I'm going in with this. I have a whole nother lip combo just for this pink. So you can really see it, but I'm going in neutral today. So I'm going in with the Morphe and Meredith Duxbury lip gloss. <gasps> Love this stuff. Literally been wearing it ever since I've gotten it. Literally. Love this a gloss like it's the perfect nude i feel like the foundation powder is a little light i'm like do i really want to do lipstick or do i want to do natural honestly y'all i think i want to do like Natural lips today. No time for I need to figure out. I think I'm gonna go in with this Fenty gloss. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this today. Just a plain gloss. Um, so yeah, let me show y'all what I have on. Just have on this top I got from Zara years ago. It's actually like a larger top and I just kind of made it to wear off the shoulder and I tied it in a knot. Hopefully this knot doesn't come out. And then I kind of like cut right here cause it was kind of going into my skin. And then these jeans are from Zara. They're flared at the bottom. 
Oh, and then my purple Hermes sandals. Give it some color because I love these things. I'm vlogging on my phone, so I'll catch you guys at the football game. Yay, let's go. My first Atlanta football game. Okay, girls, let's go. I just feel like the car just gives you the best natural lighting. And it's like, why can't the lighting be like this in my house? You know? But yeah, this is the makeup for today. I feel like I got a bit on my chin. A lot of, you know, I try to warm myself up. Like today's makeup is okay. It's been a lot better. Like a lot better. But I've been playing around and I should have just did what I did for Beyonce, which I didn't do in a way, but I don't know what like I did different. I don't know girl, but oh yeah, I forgot to tell you my earrings are from Barry. And that's enough. Just wanted to show you guys my makeup and better lighting. I decided to take this piece of hair out to kind of give it a little jazziness. But let's go. Wait, somebody oh. 